Good morning. It's Friday, July 15th. We have a lot of earnings and economic data to cover, so let's get to it. Welcome to The Money Runner. I'm David Nelson. Retail sales increased 1% in June ahead of the 0.9% estimate. The good news is that the consumer is still strong. The bad news is that the consumer is still strong and will likely force the Fed to keep their foot on the brakes. We're still in earnings season with a number of the major banks uh, reporting and at Wells Fargo this morning, the news wasn't good. A miss on the top and bottom line followed by pressure on net interest margins sounded a lot like banks we heard from yesterday. Citigroup is the outlier today, reported a beat on earnings and revenue with strength from increased rates and momentum in their card business. Coming into the year, banks look like a beneficiary of higher rates and the glass was half full. When you start to factor in the potential for a recession, bank investors tend to pull back. All right, let's uh, pivot to China before closing this out. Overnight, economic numbers out of China just managed to miss contraction. The question is, who trusts these numbers? This is an opaque society with a history of government massage data to make things look a lot better than they are. Markets have traded well off the lows almost every day this week. Let's see if we can break this five-day losing streak and head into the weekend with a smile. That's it for today. I'll see you again Monday morning. Enjoy the weekend. I'm David Nelson.